From supporting kids in foster care to fighting human trafficking, an upcoming pop-up shop is helping highlight brands and businesses that are on a mission to help other people. Space to Shine founder Kylie Mean is here to give us a look at what we'll find at their Kitchen Goods That Do Good event. It's so wonderful. What a great combination of things that we like to do. What is your mission? Well, so what Space to Shine does is we celebrate social impact brands through pop-ups, events, gift boxes, and more focused on things here in the greater Seattle area, um, events and things like that here. So you have to kind of constantly be on the hunt for yes, things that fill yeah. the bill, right? Yes, so not all these come from the greater Seattle area. They're from um, a little bit all over, um, but what we really try to do is celebrate these brands because we really believe that social impact businesses, whether they're a social enterprise or a brand that gives back, are really changing the game in some of the key yeah. social and environmental issues that impact our world and our community here in Seattle. So we want people to come and learn about how their purchases can have a broader impact. Tell um, me about some of the beneficiaries. Yeah, so it's actually, it's great. In this pop-up shop, there's a number of different um, organizations and causes that benefit. Um, so through the C donates to fo uh, a foster care charity. Um, mm -hmm. So it's children and their caregivers in the foster care system. Sutter Press Lane is fighting uh, human trafficking through their events and through their fair trade kitchen shop. Um, a lot of the social enterprises that we like to focus do um, employment. So it's a really wonderful way That's that people can have a second stuff. chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want to make sure we're spending our money someplace that yes. does some real good. Yeah. So let's look at some of the things you have because all apart from the good cause, these yeah. are really great products. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, we try to pick things that not only uh, look good, but do good at the same time. Mm -hmm. So when people buy these things for their home or for their friends, um, they tell a great story, but are also something that they really yeah. want to have in their home. What a great gift yeah. idea. Yeah. So, um, so through the seat, that's actually the apron that I have I was going to say, yeah. match. Yeah, it matches, um, which is one of the great things they do. They have really wonderful colors that are bright, but they're really focused on making, having people in your home or even regular meal time, just something really simple. Um, so they have this white tablecloth so after you're done if your kids mm. spill just quick wipe it off these, but it feels good it feels really good these um, products are made out of linen the napkins cotton these um, but it's great because it's really allows you to focus on the time at the table and not you know doing the laundry and pressing all the napkins to make sure they're perfect yes. um, but they give to National Angels which is an organization uh, that supports children and caregivers in foster care. And so they started this business as a way to um, help more children in the foster care system than they could have in their home. That's amazing. Okay, Cider Press Lane, we've had them on before. Yes. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful stuff. Tell us more about those. So Cider Press Lane, they believe that even the small things in your everyday life can make a difference. So through their dinners, and what this could call is Dinner Changes Everything, um, you can have a broader impact. So they are focused on educating and supporting um, anti-trafficking issues. So they give to Rescue Freedom. For their dinners, it's all the proceeds go to Rescue Freedom, um, which fights human trafficking. And these are fair trade products. Um, the They're bowls beautiful. and wooden products come from artisans in Kenya. Uh, and the textiles, like this table runner here, is made by artisans in Guatemala. Um, so it's really coming at the issue of human trafficking from a different perspective by providing employment. Uh, and providing economic opportunity. And helping people not have to resort to right. being yes. victimized so to make a living. The little salt yes. well yeah, little is salt. is just <laughs> the greatest thing ever. Okay, what about these? Okay, so these, I love these. These are great. So you know you go to the grocery store and you can get pre-made mixes for most anything. Mm -hmm. But with this, this is the Woman's Bean Project out of Denver, Colorado. You can get a nourishing mix for you know, brownies, cornbread, scones, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm excited about the cornbread. Yeah. That's yeah. one of my favorite things ever. So, and they um, are an organization that provides employment training for women who have been chronically underemployed for various reasons um, in their life. But so it's great because as these women are making these products that are nourishing other families, they're also nourishing their own their family. Own. And they, it says on the back that this was lovingly handmade by, and there's a name of whichever woman created this. Yeah. I think that's just the loveliest thing. It feels like from her hands to ours, yes. right? Yeah. And we can help in return. Those are beautiful. Okay, back to some other amazing yes. goodies. <laughs> Yes, so here we have um, these handmade wooden cutting boards from the Mile High Workshop, which is also in Denver. Um, and they're really focused on a couple of different things, which their motto is production with purpose. Um, so they do a lot of contract manufacturing production for other companies, 
providing job training, but then they also make some of their own uh, wooden products, including these great cutting boards. Those are um, amazing. So and you're going to use this all the time, so it's, right. it's yeah. fun to have something that you really think is beautiful while yes. you're working on your dinner. Is this a different company over here? Oh, yes, yes. This is the Homeless Garden Project. They're in Santa Cruz, California, and they're really neat because they have an urban farm that provides opportunity for a lot of different enterprises. They have an organic flower farm, um, they have a CSA box, um, and then they also, of course, they make these spice mixes. Um, and it's a way through their program, people who are experiencing homelessness can uh, build a community. Um, they can also have job training um, and hopefully transition out of homelessness. That's great. So. And does this then help qualify them for kitchen work or something else? Yeah, there's a whole slew of different, people go in different tracks afterwards, I think depending on what they're interested. Um, but it's generally providing um, employment and a supportive community around them. Yeah, as everybody loves forward. that. Yeah. What about these cards? Oh, these cards. I love, love these cards. We have so these great. at every pop-up because Oops, we do believe me. that these things are great for your home, but they also make wonderful gifts. Um, it's a way that you can share about cause that's on your heart with your friends. Um, but these are made by Penn and Pillar, and they are a great company based in North Carolina. And similar to Through the Sea, they use their gifts as artists um, to support a cause that they love, which in their case is refugee resettlement. Um, so they're really awesome. focused on giving back to refugee resettlement. There's cards for every occasion um, because you never know when you might want. You never know. You might as well have yes. them. Then you don't yeah. have to run out and buy a card. Exactly. The yeah. And they're really beautiful. I mean, I would buy those even if they didn't have the right. bonus yeah. of, of helping people. But that's a double, uh, double good being done there. So we have some photos of the pop-up yep. shops themselves so we can see how they look. And we'll tell people where to find them later. But it's a, a really nice shopping experience. So it's idea we want to make it fun, festive, because we're really celebrating these brands and the great work that they do. So we hope that people come. There's ways to learn about the issues locally, how to engage, um, but also about the companies and, of course, the products as well. That's so. just, they're beautiful <laughs> things, and everybody likes to find something that's unique in that right. way. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, kitchen goods that do good will pop up at three different locations around Seattle throughout next week. But your next chance will be at Not Without Salt in Finney Ridge on Sunday, September 15th. That's coming up soon. Um, we'll put all that on our website. Thank so you so much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>